Sir, my question is why is there no reliable in the centrifugal pump? In these technical workshops, specially created for the merchant navy decoded family, all your technical doubts related to IEC engines, pumps, as a marine engineer or as an electrical officer are sorted then and there by Chief Engineer Orvin Singh, sir. With a varied experience of being a chief engineer, a technical superintendent, a educational trainer at Anglo Madam Training Center, he has the right knowledge. And yes, that is how we learn, that is how we grow. Let's just start. See the sample. Because centrifugal pump cannot generate very, very high pressure. Means you can generate, there's a limit to the pressure you can generate there. Okay. So how do you generate pressure by the way, in any in any pump? By closing the discharge valve and while the pump is running. So in centrifugal pump, even if you close the discharge valve completely, then there is a maximum pressure it can reach. You can't go more than that. And you already know that pressure. Designers will already know that pressure. So when they already knew that pressure, that how much maximum it can go, the pipeline and the casing of the pump is designed like this, that they can easily sustain that pressure. For example, when you close the delivery valve completely, designer know that it, okay, let's say the pressure maximum it can reach is 10 bar. So the pipeline and pump is already designed for 10 bar. So there's no point keeping a relief valve there. You can always go ahead and close the discharge valve and it can maximum it can go is 10 bar only. So because it is not a positive displacement. So since it is not a positive displacement pump, it is not positively delivering the liquid. Right, so if your delivery valve will be shut, water will keep churning in its place. It is not positively delivered. Though pressure will rise, but there is a limit to the pressure rise for which the, uh, uh, de for which the piping is designed for. So there is no need for the relief valve. Uh, sir, the pressure will goes on increasing or at a time, the pressure will just uh, come to a constant value and then the suction will be stopped. Yes, absolutely right. So if you if you have read about the QH curve here of centrifugal pump, QH curve of the centrifugal pump is like this. So this is H, H means pressure, head, and Q means flow. So even if you reduce the flow to zero, means flow becomes zero in this line, flow is zero means discharge valve completely closed. So this is the maximum pressure it can go up to. Okay, this is the value of the maximum head. Head means pressure here. Okay, so when the pressure reached is only this much, and you know what that value is. You let's say that value is 10 bar. You know it can go maximum 10 bar. My pipe can sustain 10 bar. So what is the need for me? Yeah, yes, sir. Thank you. I hope from this technical workshop, you must have got a little bit idea ki how this workshop works and why it is important for you to go through those dreamer package, visionary package, achiever package, electrical package and never to shy away from investing on yourself because in the long run that is the only thing that pays. So if you want faster promotions, if you want respect on ship, whether you are a marine engineer or an ETO electrical officer, these packages on Merchant Navy website are meant for you. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, Jai Mata.